Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Now today we're going to be actually taking a look at my EDC or Everyday Carry. Now Carl Friedrich, which is a brand based in the UK, but all their products are produced in Italy and um, you know, they, their products are very high quality and I really wanted to take a look at them. So yes, they did send me these two products to review and they're pretty good quality. I'm pretty surprised. You know, I've been all around the world. I've been to Italy, of course, in person a few times and purchased leather goods there. And the quality is always decent if you know where to go. Not the, not the tourist places, but the real leather shops there. Also in Argentina, they produce very good leather. Um, I've had products from there as well, which I think, in my opinion, is just as good as the Italian leather. But um, let's take a look at what we got. So inside here, this is the Valence uh, briefcase. I have a lot of my stuff that I carry every day, whether I'm, you know, hopping on the Long Island Railroad or the MTA subway. I uh, will bring this along with my EDC, uh, which is basically just the essentials to get me by through the day. Now, in this box right here, which is very nice from Carl Friedrich, we do have the Swanfield wallet, which is only $86, but some of you might think, wow, that's a lot of money, but it's actually a handmade wallet. It's very good quality and with uh, Vaqueta leather and it's very nice. We'll get into the wallet first. So the wallet does come in this packaging. One sleeve comes off here. As you can see, we get a nice box here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Inside is the wallet. Now there are many different variations this wallet does come in in terms of colors. And uh, this is like a dark kind of brown or black, blackish color. Now you can see on their website, linked in the description below, what all the colors they come in. And as you see, I did mark my initials right here, uh, which is pretty cool. And that is in a gold tone, very neat. And you just feel the quality and smell the leather and the, you know, it's one seamless stitch all around. So it's very, you know, well put together. So you can see the Carl Friedrich right here. And it does say handmade in Italy, designed in London, uh, which is pretty cool. Now the wallet itself is three inches wide when folded, as you can see here. In terms of height, it's 4.1 inches, so it's really, you know, a great everyday carry. You can easily slip it into your front pocket. I wouldn't recommend putting your wallet in your back pocket just for safety reasons nowadays. But as you can see, uh, there are three card slots here. I generally just use these two right here. I don't carry many credit cards. And there's a cash spot here, which says can fit four bills, but honestly, I can fit like 10 or 12 bills in here. As you can see, very easy to locate your money there, pull it out. There's also another option here. This is where I would put my license probably, but for uh, you know privacy reasons, I'm not going to put my license in there today. And then on the other side, which is actually used for like something like an MTA MetroCard, I found just you know throwing some singles in here in case I want to buy something on the go quick, like a drink or something, uh, which works very well. So this wallet itself is actually made in Naples, Italy, in a small factory, uh, which uh, specializes in small leather goods. And it's actually vegetable tan, vaqueta leather, which is a very good quality leather. You can really feel it when you touch it. It's very soft. And um, it's not that hard to break in, which is a good thing. As you can see, it folds perfectly straight out of the box, which is a good sign. Now, this exact one is 86 US dollars, and that's a pretty decent price. I mean, you know, I've owned them all from the Ferragamo wallets with the, all the little monograms. But as I got older, now I'm about uh, 29 years old, I, you know, I kind of steer away from that stuff. It's kind of gaudy and flashy. I've had the Gucci wallet, the Louis Vuitton wallet, the Ferragamo, which actually was my favorite. But uh, I can tell you one thing, the leather on these wallets is just as good as those three to five hundred dollar wallets. And I don't really think there's, you know, this is more classic and traditional and really uh, great for an everyday carry. It's not like flashy, but you know, when you have it in your hand, you know it's very good quality. As you can see, the stitching is just perfect here. There are no mistakes at all. It's very well done. And I really do like how they put my initials there in gold, which is really cool. That's an extra option to get. So yeah, a great everyday wallet. Uh, definitely, a, you know, can fit all your essentials. And I think it's a great deal. Now this thing right here is the Valance briefcase. Now this one's a bit more expensive at 361 US dollars, but it is a really good quality briefcase. And it's not like a, you know, I see a lot of people carrying backpacks and all weird types of satchels. But honestly, um, you know, I think this is a bit more sophisticated and something that could really last, you know, a long time considering it's very good quality. Um, the same standard high quality vaqueta vegetable leather that the wallet is made of. This is in a cognac, as you can see. 
A very nice color. I've never actually owned a cognac briefcase. And you know, if you're wearing a suit or something, this would just look right at home. And I think it's a great bag. Now I have all my EDC stuff in here, but as you can see, I packed it to the brim basically, and it's still not that heavy. And uh, I just want to show you around. So the bag itself is actually 11 inches tall, as you can see. In terms of width, it's 15.4 inches. And in terms of depth, it's 2.6 inches. Now this bag, um, you know, it comes in many different colors. This is obviously the cognac with the gray color lining on the inside, which I'll show you in a second. And yeah, let's get more into it. So this basically is all the stuff I would carry for the day. Now these zippers, I want to get in close here, as you can see. The zipper is very well done here, as you can see. It even, um, on the other side, as you can see, it comes over here to give you some extra room. So it never gets jammed or anything like that. You have a little extra room there. This is all uh, polished, the zipper as well. Now the bag itself was actually made in Florence, Italy by a team of 30 craftsmen. And they, uh, they're they dedicated to create products of the highest standard. Obviously, this is a very well-made bag. I like the kind of two uh, little holsters here. They're very nice. They're easy to grab. They're very flexible. As you can see, the stitching is all on point, just like the wallet is. Now the vegetable tan vaqueta leather, as you can see here, which actually looks really nice, especially when there's some light on it. It's really soft, has a very strong smell of leather, and I really do like that. And it's actually, um, I believe this is, um, this, yeah, the leather is actually made in Tuscany, Italy. And the actually zipper, which is a symmetrical, individual, individually polished silver nickel finish zipper, is actually made in Bergamo, and that's in Italy. So the zipper is of very high quality, just as the leather is. Now the actual lining, it comes from Milan, Italy. So there's a lot of different Italian, you know, makers that goes into making this. And I think for the price point, you're getting a lot of bang for your money here. And yeah, very nice little zipper there, and very simple bag. I think it's a great everyday bag, something that uh, you can really get a lot of use out of. So uh, let's see what's inside the actual bag. So I'm going to go ahead and unzipper this. As you can see here, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> so first, let me just pull this out. This is actually a flashlight. I do carry a flashlight usually wherever I go. Um, in case your car breaks down or you're, you, know, you lose your phone, you have no light, you need a light for something, this is a great little flashlight. I believe this one is a thousand lumens. That was about you know, $15 on Amazon. And it's a great little light. There are many different modes as well as you can see here. Just a great little uh, flashlight. Now, next, as you can see, I did fit my laptop in here, which is a MacBook Air. And it's the 13 inch, so it fits perfectly in here, which was really nice. And then this, this is a nice uh, case for my sunglasses, as you can see. This exact one I picked up on Amazon. It's called the Splaqua. It's a waterproof case, and as you can see, it has a nice buckle here. If you want to clip onto your shorts, your uh, camo shorts, or... <laughs> whatever you want. Nice red here as you can see. And inside I do have my sunglasses. As you can see here, let me just put this down. So these are per sole sunglasses. These are prescription because my vision is not that good. But as you can see, these are my choice of sunglasses. I've been wearing these for about, I'd say about four years and they're just really classic. You know, Steve McQueen used to wear them. They're very nice. They're handmade in Italy just as the bag is. So it kind of fits together, I guess. And just very well made. They're very strong. They, uh, they're great sunglasses. Now next, I also like to bring a couple little books uh, to write in, to plan my reviews, all that good stuff, grocery shopping, um, all these standard stuff I do write in these books. Now these are a couple fresh ones, but as you can see, just your standard books. I really like them. They're nice and small in size. I picked these up on Amazon. Even comes with a little ruler. Uh, just great little books. Uh, you know, you can write stuff in. Now, let's see what else I have in the bag. So also, I do like to drink tea. Uh, this is decaffeinated tea, as you can see. This is Twining's tea, which is from England, and English breakfast. I always keep three little bags on me. You know, in case you didn't, what's the point of buying tea at work? If in the office you wanna, you know, just get some hot water and drop the bags in, this is a great way to go. Twining's is a, has been around for a very long time. It's a pretty good tea, I do recommend this. I picked these up on Amazon too, so if you want to check those out. Now let's see what else. So I always do keep a spare set of eyeglass screwdrivers as you can see. I picked these up on Amazon for like 10 bucks. And these are great if you wear eyeglasses. Sometimes these screws come loose. 
Also, if you have a watch and a screw happens to come loose, which has happened to me before, actually on my Omega one of these screws was coming loose, and even on my Submariner, I think a while ago, it's great to have these on you if you're a watch guy, if you want to tighten up the screws while you're uh, at work, or you, know, you don't want to lose a link or a bracelet. Now inside this bag, as you can see here, if I can get you in here, that's the compartment I took all that stuff out of. And then there's another compartment here, if I could zoom you in. As you can see, there's a compartment here uh, with my initials right here, EMH, and then there's two pen holsters. The pen holsters are actually really nice, and I found them very useful. Um, I carry this pen right here, if I can get it out. So this is the Parker Jotter. It's a gold tone here and a uh, brushed silver, as you can see. Great everyday pens. Obviously, I use this to write in the field books below. And they're great pens, like $15 each. I got these on Amazon as well. I pretty much do all my shopping on Amazon, considering I'm a Prime member. And just a great everyday pen. It's a classic pen, not too expensive. Gets the job done. Now, as I stated, I did fit my MacBook or MacBook Air perfectly in here, which is a pleasure because I can just basically bring this wherever I go. It fits perfectly in the bag. I pretty much do all my work on this laptop. I do have a Mac desktop, but lately I've been preferring this. It's super light, super slender. Um, it's a great computer. This is the MacBook Air, not the Pro. And, you know, they're quite expensive, but in my opinion, definitely worth it. So, what else do I have in my little bag? I also always carry an extra watch and strap. As you can see here, I have a nice brand new blue uh, seatbelt style NATO strap. I actually picked this one up for about $3 on uh, AliExpress. So, they're not too expensive, these seatbelt NATO straps. Uh, companies really just like to add a markup uh, if you want to put your logo there or something. But they're actually really cheap. And this is a really good quality one, as you can see. Nice stainless steel hardware. All these stitching is on point. Nice solid brushed buckle, two keepers, uh, great NATO strap there. Now I also do bring another watch with me. Um, typically a sports watch or a diving watch, something that is robust, that's not gonna die on me. This is the SKX009 on a Spinnaker NATO strap actually. As you can see, they started selling their own NATO straps and yeah, just really nice, you know, a great everyday watch. Most of you guys are very familiar with this watch. It never will fail you as the 7S26 movement. Right now I am wearing the Rolex President 18038, uh, which is also a great watch, but if this happens to fail me, I always have this as a backup. So that pretty much covers all my EDC. I just want to get you an inside look of the bag. There's really a lot of room here. You have one pocket here, you have another pocket here, and then you have the big pocket here, which I put most of my stuff in, as you can see. And there also is an outer pocket, which is my last item. If I can grab that out of here, there it is. Now these are a set of Bluetooth headphones. So Bluetooth headphones are very useful, obviously, if you're traveling on a train. If you're in a space that you can, obviously, listen to music on your speakers. I typically bring these. I actually pick these up at Staples. Uh, you just flip it on. It has two little pods here. As you can see, they're uh, very nice. I believe they're available on Amazon as well. These were $29. And they, you know, the sound quality is pretty decent. It's good enough for me. It goes right in your ears. This just hangs down for your controls. And I think it's definitely an essential. So the Valance bag, it's a great bag. I'm really enjoying this one. As you can see, it's empty now. But uh, it's really quite a nice bag, as you can see here. Everything is really on point. I really like the leather. And it's a great bag. I mean, for the price, there are other companies such as Louis Vuitton and Gucci and Prada and all those companies that basically produce their stuff in the same place or same way and they're just charging a markup for the name uh, that's definitely true so I definitely do recommend Carl Friedrich uh, the wallets are really cool as well but this bag is definitely my favorite I'm gonna go to work now guys I'll see you later bye